I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. Sheesh! Big one snaps. Oh no. We have the best hero call combo versus a player that's capable. I don't really care if I get bluffed here. Are we ever gonna lose sleep calling here? Probably not. All right, anyone that's tuned in bright and early, welcome. We've got 25 left here in the GG Masters 1K. At the moment, sitting 16th in chips, which is interesting. Usually 33 bigs is gonna be a lot. Uh, I got a lot of play time in this one, I think. Uh, the blind level increases from here are pretty substantial and will force the action. Uh, feeling pretty cool. We got Fader on our left. Kind of need someone to get eliminated on our table, so Fader's not on our left, but whatever. Fader's also just, like, not losing pots. What's up, guys? Just want to give a bit of context with the video you guys are about to watch. It is the $1,000 GG Masters High Roller Edition, $1 million guarantee, and we're playing for $145,000. I typically don't stream Sundays. I grind off stream and turn the stream on if something exciting happens. This ended up being one of those times. 25 left, playing for 145,000. There are a ton of six spots in this tournament. I'm battling against the likes of Fedor Holes and other online crushers. Hopefully you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys hopefully at the end of the video. Give like a base aid here. Right, Fedor Folds to the big blind. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure we're just going to check back. Got Cool River here. Alright, we are now final 24. Uh, I don't think we start raising our 8 here. If this is the size that he wants to get value with with the king, so be it. I don't think there's much else to it. Yeah, I mean, if that's the size you want to get value with with the king, well done. You played it great. Just trying to get more money, you know, probably. Maybe we play better. Yeah, unfortunate one there. So I don't actually think we see bet range here. And the problem with like betting flop is when we get check jammed on, which it will happen a fair amount, I'm gonna have to bet fold. But I think I'm actually cool with checking this one back. I don't think I don't think we see bet all of our hands. Like we don't bet queens and jacks. Um we don't have to bet all of our eights and sevens. Interesting enough. Interesting river. We like this river. I think it's fine if he check called the flush on the turn. Typically, don't think he would. I think if we were to bluff, I think we'd spend a bit of time here. Right. Nice. Nice little pot there. All right, back to our ace jack here. Fairly dry king high board here with the ace jack. Nice. We love just taking it down nice and simple. Nice and simple. That's what it's about. Stressful times in this one. Fedor back calling. He's got a jack. Peels. Needs to fade two cards. Needs to fade a nine, and he's good. And he does. Fedor cannot lose. Fedor cannot lose. He's up to 150 bigs. He's just had chip lead, like, the whole time. Honestly, the entire time I've looked at the lobby, he's had chip lead. I think if you were to, like, highlight his run here, it's literally just, like, massive pot went his way. Such an interesting turbo snap call. Well, at least we're not going to be losing money. Or losing our entire stack, I don't think. We still got value from, like, Queen X. Oh, we chop with a lot of King X. This is a rough movie, though. He's going to have a lot of one heart combos. I feel like when he snap called, I feel like we're just going to see, like, Queen Jack a lot. Snap pre, snap flop. Hopefully it doesn't have like Queen Jack off with the Jack of Hearts. Or, like Queen 10 off, 10 of Hearts. Any checkers? I mean, he's got, I mean, if he's thinking about it, he's thinking about like thin value or something. What would you turn into a bluff here? You know, if he's going to have a crazy amount of things to turn into a bluff. He'd have to turn like, I think he'd snap a lot of his 4x pre-flop. I don't think he's going to snap a lot of his... What is this he's going to have? I guess he's like debating value jamming like a 10 or picking a size with like a 10. I, there is a small percentage chance he turns a queen into a buff there, but I don't think that's real. I don't think that's like a super realistic thing. Sweating a one and a half big blind flip for $900. Alright, we do have sixes hold. Alright, back to our hand. 
So we locked up $7,052 and we are raising the ace 10 off here. Okay, pretty good flop overall. Final 17, he should have a more constricted defending range. Uh, also, our stealing range is reduced because, again, final 17. That's a vibe turn. All right, well, we're just going to bet and then jam the river. Seems cool to me. Seems like the play. Uh, I mean, getting check jammed on turn is pretty annoying, I think, but we're never folding. Okay, I mean, this is absurd. Fucking hell. That's a massive hold. I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. Sheesh! I had to say it. Holy. Those are those are the important holds, you know? History is written by the victors. I'd just like to remind everyone. No one no one ever remembers the guy that gets 17th. No one remembers losing ace 10 to 9 deuce suited. Alright, Freddy Jams. We're gonna be taking this one. He uses his just one time. I probably should fold if that's the case. Big one snaps. Oh no. So you fucking sun running high EV spots. Holy shit. Another all in at the other table. Eights versus King Jack. And there's a page up. We're down to 13. Oh my fucking god. That is a river. That's a flop. Oh my god. Let's go. Has a lot with getting gifted and stuff from Dima. Thank you, Dima. Alright, that was fucking that was pretty sick. God damn. That is a that is a good time to drill it. GG to Freddy. Okay, this is a good hand. I mean, he's opening wide. I feel like we want to keep his range in. I also feel like he's just going to stack off a lot if we threw, but... We'll keep it simple. I think calling's fine. But I also think he's just going to turbo in, like, any value hand. So, if that's the case... I think if he just turbos in any value hand, I don't mind just 3-betting. FX going in for it with 10s. Paz has aces. 10, and we're down to 10. 10 for 10 left? All right, Dan Ludan is drawing to a jack for the side. Nope. All right, so we lose one player. We're down to 11, and we get a pay jump. We lock up 9.2k. Bet, flop, check, check, turn. I uh, That's what I'm assuming is how we got here. And he does cage him and take it down. And Fedor gets moved. Okay, that's that's pretty high morale. We'll lose Fedor from the table. It's always good if chip lead gets moved off your table. Alright, let's put the flop here with ace-queen. I mean, it makes 3x and 10x fold. Makes some king x fold. I think if we're gonna bluff, we're gonna bet bluff turn. We make all non-spade combo stuff just fold. That's an interesting river. I guess we just... I mean, how, how hard do we really yeet here with bluffs? He did call pretty quick on turn. I mean, we could just hope this is somehow to chop, but I think we just lose, and he's gonna have, like, the jack, nine, or queen of spades a lot of the time here. Yeah, and like that's just not where we're trying to make fold. On turn, I think we're just trying to make like King X and 10X and 3X fold. Was our friend trapping on the button? Ace Jack, he was with Ace King. I like the flat with Ace King too. If we fade a Jack, we make final table. No Jack, and there's a 100% chance we make the final table of the GG Masters. That is not a Jack. No FT bubble. We get the 4K pay jump. See at the final table. I don't know if there's even blind rollback for this one. Yeah, there was, we rolled back like one level. Give it, take it away, Aoki. All right, would you look at that? We didn't bottle it. We made the final table of the GG Masters. Just want to remind you guys to please click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Click the like button if you enjoy the video. And don't forget to leave a comment if you guys feel obliged. Uh, enjoy a exciting, epic final table battle. And I'll see you guys at the end of the video. All right, you'll love to see it. High morale, no FT bubbles today. We are at least final tabling. All right, all right. I would, I would like to win. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Uh, overall, final table's looking pretty good in terms of lineup. Pretty, pretty cool with who we're final tabling with. Thinking about where we want to sit. Ideally, the plan is you want to be late position. You want to pay the least amount of blinds. 
Or you want you want to have the most amount of time before you pay your big blind? I mean, depending on where Toma goes, no one else is like crazy short. Everyone else is like 30 bigs. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. One thing that does happen, um, and I talk about this a lot when I do make final tables, is recreationals um, that don't know how to seat select just always pick where the team pro is. So like I feel like he's going to laser in wherever I sit. So I don't want to take his spot, and then he just takes my spot, and then I'm back to being under the gun. So I'm pretty sure I'm just going to end up picking Godoff in this instance. Um, everyone else has got like... 30 or more bigs, so they're really not forced to do anything. Uh, first time making the GG Masters final table. I think I've got a 17th in this lifetime. I think that's probably my personal best. That was a while ago. I think it was like early COVID times. Here we go. Let's pick some seats. Let's pick some seats. Oh, interesting. Fader is the button now. What the fuck? I thought the button was here. Alright, so he doesn't pick a seat in time, which is intriguing. Um... I guess we just yeet fear. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's take cutoff still. It looks like we actually are gonna hold for cutoff. I imagine, yeah, Fader is just gonna take, yeah, good seat spot there. So the biggest stacks are not too far away from me. Oh, Shorty's all in versus uh, Philip. He calls pocket eights up against pocket tens. Our first all in a call of the final table. If we fade an eight, we get our first page jump at the final table. A five thousand dollar pay jump if we could fade it, and we do. G G to Toma forty seven goes out in ninth place for fourteen point five, and now we lock up nineteen thousand three hundred and fifty dollars, and we're just getting started. Okay, I mean if Fader opens, super simple decision. Assuming no one else clicks call, but even then I feel like it's still a jam. Yeah, very easy decision. Fader is going to be opening very wide. It's going to be folding a lot. Not much to do but to send it. And we take it down. Let's go. Fedor picking a large turn size here. Honestly, if I were to guess, I think it was limp ISO call. I didn't miss the pre-flop, but it's obviously it was a like Fedor bet half pot flop. Yeah, so I think it is an ISO pot. So Fedor double barreling. Interesting river. Fedor's gonna have I don't know if Fedor's gonna have King Jack, but he will have King Queen. He will have aces, kings, queens. Actually, I don't know if he's going to pick queens for the with the turn size. He's going to have ace-10. He'll have 10-9 as barrel offs. I don't know if he's going to pure ISO-10-9 suited, but maybe a little ISO-10-9 off. Fader now with the decision. He has a lot of two pairs. He'll have like queen-10, jack... Or not queen-10. He'll have like queen-deuce, jack-deuce, queen-4, jack-4 for ISOs. I don't think he picks bigger sizes though with jack-4. A lot of his like queen-x two pairs. Interesting river decision here for Fedor. His bluffs... 10x? Like suited 10x? Like if he had like 10-3 suited. He does put him not all in. Philip snaps. Oh, there's the 10-3 off. Deuces. Oh my goodness, we have a new chip lead. Fedor caught with his hand of the cookie jar. I think it's... That's a tough river. That's a tough river to, to find the triple off on. I think there's a lot to unpack with this one. I don't know if we're going to do it on stream. I think the 10 of hearts is a very bad card though. Alright, we're opening the queen jack suited here. Folds to the small blind. Who quickly calls... Big blind gets out of the way. Queen I flop. I feel like he's going to jam ace queen. So I think we sometimes see king queen. But I think the vast majority of the time, we probably just have the best hand. I think he has like fives and sixes here as well. I don't think we ever start with a check back. Nice. All right. Just simple. Take it down. No sweat. Yeah. If he just like check jams through there, I'm just like in the bin. But we have to call because he's going to have flush draws. He'll have random yeets as well, probably. We're not banking on it, but it's a potential. Getting cold forward. You have to think this is just like a, I'm not folding to Fedor, but like if it goes jam, rejam, maybe has folds. You also just don't even need to go this big. So this might actually just like, this is going to have ace kings in it, I would say. Fedor in the cage. I don't know if Fedor does here with Jax. I don't think you can ever fold queens here. He does stick it in. G Bora with the call. We are off to the races here. Aces and queens. G Bora gets the bad news, but he does have queens and nines. If a queen or nine rolls off, we lose Fedor, one of the strongest players at the final table. Nope. G Boro now down to five big blinds. He's in relegation with me. Fedor showing why he's one of the best by getting aces in versus queens. All right, let's show him why we're one of the best. Okay, we're doing it. Cruising. All right. 
Oh, Kings, the next hand. What the fuck? All right. All right, so we three bet the Kings. All right, man, we're all in. We're all in with the Kings. Wilson needs to make a decision. Does he want to play for my tournament life? Sitting deep into the tank here. This is, uh, all right, let's see where the stream's at spot now. Fedor hasn't doubled up yet. That's good. Hits me with the not sure if. That's probably going to end up being a fold then. If I were to guess. It could also just be a legitimate not sure if with not sure what to do. And he does find the folds. We'll hit him with a cruising gif. All right. You get dealt aces. You get dealt kings. You make a couple big blinds. That's all right with me. We've kind of doubled up. It's like we doubled up when we had aces, you know? Picking up the old church, huh? I don't think we need to half pot with ICM, but I do think we size up a little bit here. I don't think we necessarily have bet a quarter. I mean, we would just be tripling this off if we'd bet again. Can we get value from like King 10, King Jack. We do make a seven fold on turn. We get value from Ace I flush draws. Well, I don't think we're folding this river. He's gonna have ace nine, he's gonna have ace seven. I don't think he's gonna peel ace queen free. It's kind of a weird spot though, because like I don't think he's going to bluff jam this river. Because I'm gonna have a lot of aces that raise free by flop check turn. This just seems like not the river to bluff on. But we do have the king of spades, which then makes it a great hero calling hand. And this is Fedor Holes. We probably will turn a seven. I, I don't know if he thinks I'm ever gonna fold an ace. This is actually interesting. All right, well, we can stand up. We have, we have the best hero call combo versus a player that's capable. Um, so we probably do need to be calling a lot here. This is a moderate nit roll, but it's also just like a spot. It's just like, I have a lot of aces in the spot. I guess, like, what is he trying to make fold? He's trying to make jacks fold, tens fold? What is, what is he trying to make fold? He's trying to make ace jack, ace ten fold? Does he think ace jack and ace ten will fold? Does he care? I mean, I think a better hero calling hand just ends up being like ace nine, ace seven, because then we'd be two pairs. I don't think Fedor's folding a lot of pre-flop stuff that's close versus my steals. This is just like uber disrespectful if I fold. I don't know. And it's not to say that I don't think he's ever bluffing here, but it's also just like, uh, I don't, I don't know if he thinks I'm ever folding an ace here. My range is just like always aces. This is like a moderate leveling war, but I, when I say leveling war, I'm leveling myself here. I have like no strong hand. That's what's annoying. It's like I have, I have ace nine, ace seven suited. Like that's it. I don't really have any strong hands here. I do have some flushes. God, I kind of just want to just be disrespectful. This is such a, this is so, f I, I don't really care if I get bluffed here. I just don't think I'm getting bluffed. I, I mean, I just don't think he's trying to make the plays, but I, I've said this before. Remember when I folded to Malacca style with the uh, trip aces? I guess ace jack limp jams, ace king limp jams. Like I have top, but like, I don't think he's trying to make me fold an ace. If he shows some sort of gangster bluff, I mean, God, it's like, he's a very good player. He's very capable, but like, I just don't think he's trying to make me fold an ace. A few moments later. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe we just hold on. Maybe we just, yeah, maybe, maybe we just, you know, put it for what it is and then just full, just call. I'm talking myself in and out of calling. I forever talk myself out, but I remember the Malacca style spot. I mean, are we ever going to lose sleep calling here? Probably not. Moderate nit roll. Let's fucking go. I think you just got to give Fedor the, the respect. I, I, honestly, I was thinking of folding, and then I thought about the Malacca style fold. I'm like, yeah, just, you just got to call good players. I, I, it's a pretty serious nit roll, but I would hit him with a cruise and gif. Oh, shit. Fedor raised calling the shorty and doubles him up. Things just got even more complicated. Oh, Fedor said it's a pure fold? What? <laughs> I ran on with the... Yeah, Fedor says it's a fold pre with the king of spades. Interesting. I think Fedor's kind of just showed that the fact that he's going to be pretty out of line here on this FT. This is the poor people buying for him. Just the thousand dollar tournament. He's going to apply pressure on the poor people, you know? Does raise call. Ace Jack. If we fade an ace, Fader goes from monster chip lead on this FT to eighth place. And we do. Damn. 
You love to see it. <laughs> GG. I, it's just a relief to get someone like that off the table. You know, it's one of the best players in the game, let alone best players at the table. You do lose them in eighth place. Goes out for $19,344 GG. And now we are guaranteed $25,800. I do think once we lose one player, I think people are going to start folding. We have another all in and a call. Queens race calling versus King Jack off. This could be a quick bing a bang blow. No, spade. Did I fold? I folded a spade. Queen. Oh my goodness. Damn. We just, I just like that. Scammed, faked out. Get two pay jumps. You now lock up 34,400. Huge. We are fucking cruising. There's two pay jumps right there. We are cruising. Big pay jumps. All right. Paz is in a tough spot. If I were to think about what he would be thinking about. Nines is close. Nines is really close. I think I fold nines. Eights I fold. He does call. Pocket sixes. Tens. Yeah, I think tens is a fair tank. For fade of six, we get three pay jumps and three hands. Which is absurd, given how long we we're playing eight-handed for. And we do. GG. The defending champion chips up. Pazamore won the GG Masters 1k last week. We're down to five, locking up 45,900. This is a certified rejuice, if I've ever seen it. G Boro now the only other player that's significantly short. Everyone else has chipped up pretty reasonably. Oh, G Boro with the snap cam. He's got the lights on this time. Oh shit, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Uh, I don't think we raise call ace 10 off here. Don't think we do. <clears throat> Damn, that's a that's a gangster move there. Burning the one dollar bill to light your uh, light your spliff. All right. Yeah, I think ace 10 off there is just gonna be a raise fold. All right. I think we're going to be sending it here. Nice little all in. Everyone loves these. Well, we've been called. Big one here. King Jack up against Ace Queen. King I flop. Just need to fade an ace. Big river peel here. Oh, ho, ho. baby. You love to see it. Flip it over. Segura. Let's fucking go, baby. Sheesh. We're cruising, baby. Huge double up with the King Jack suited. Huge double up. And we pick up Ace King. No time. No time. To enjoy the benefits of the double up. Let's just focus on some good poker here. Sure. I don't really want to explain why I'm doing this. So I'm not going to. Not while the final table's rolling and we're still five-handed. If someone asks me another time, I'll explain. Outside of deviation here, jamming with Ace-King offsuit, though. Not the cool thing to do. And we get the call. We should be doing pretty goddamn good here. He's got Ace-3 off. Wow. Got a fade of three. And we do. Bam. Let's fucking go. Four left. Huge fucking pay jump. Huge jam. Let's go. We lock up 61,000 right now. 61,000 locked up. Four-handed on this final table. Mm. Mm. Queen 10. Okay. Come on, Jack Deuce. Hold. We just got to fade kings and eights, and we're down to three. Boom. We're cruising down to three. We just got a $20,000 page up, now locking up $81,000. Our man is just fucking on a tear. I don't know if he's going to peel queens. Or kings. I think kings probably peel three-handed at this point. I don't know if he's going to peel tens or nines either. But if he does, they're probably just going to jam flop. I think his 8x will jam flop too. At a click. Not always. Ace-queen off. Probably just jam. Ace-queen suited. Probably just jam. King-queen probably doesn't peel flop. Yeah, I, it's just a double barrel for value there. <clears throat> oh, here we go. 
Queens up against Ace Jack off. Huge one here. To get us heads up, can we fade an ace? We've done a pretty good job at it so far. Will we get heads up here? Yes. Oh my god, we're heads up. Fucking go. Oh. Alright, so we have locked up 109,000. Alright, we're going to value better six here. He's checked back, flop, and turn. Checks back, flop, checks back, turn, to then raise river. Doesn't feel very ace -y. doesn't feel very... I guess it can be an eight. I guess he can still have, like, pot... I feel like pot nines, tens, jacks, just bet. Doesn't really make too much sense. I'm a little bit curious. I don't know how curious I am. I mean, he can still be thin value raising an eight, I think, but... Checks back an ace twice. Interesting. Caught speeding. All right. There I am value betting my fucking my jack here, and he's just got fucking ace ten. All right. Okay. He takes down a couple pots. Extends his chip lead. I'm in no rush. We got all night. Flopping top two here, good strategy. Do just get the check fold on flop, that's alright. That's alright. Nice deep heads up. So at the moment we've locked up 109,000. We have had, we now have a new high score for online for caches. My old high score was 100,000 flat. We have now eclipsed that. We're going to, to try to at least 1.45 exit and get this dub for 145,000. Where's the 10, dude? Oh, there it is. All right, bets half off objects back turn. Cruising. All right. Couldn't get the hero call from him. Go Pat. It's hard to really say what I'm thinking in spots with, you know, it's already bad enough he sees my hands if he's watching. <clears throat> Wouldn't mind seeing like a 30%, but you know, just a nice 30%, two thirds. What is that? 14 and a half. So he's back 25 behind SPR 0.5. It seems a bit nitty just to do this, but I mean, it's not like he folds his combo draws. I don't think he does this with queen 10. He can have like nine deuce, jack, deuce, jack nine, jack deuce. But I think there's just a lot of money in the middle, and I just want to stack draws, make sure they pay the max. Segura! Because it's not a lock that he jams river. If I make him fold some sort of, like, pair plus straight draw, I don't think he will, but, like, I, if he does, you know. I, I don't, I feel like because the Esper is so low, I don't mind just eating there, because there's a lot of prop. Sevens are bad, tens are bad, spades are bad, queens are bad, kings aren't the... Greatest, you know, there's a lot of bad rivers. I don't I don't think we mind just sticking the rest of it in there We do take chip lead with that one. <clears throat> I think if that we were <clears throat> Just ever so slightly deeper. I think I just click call but yeah, I think we do bets two-thirds there I think we just gotta send the rest of it in <clears throat> Even though we're in position. Yeah, there's just a lot of bad rivers And I don't think there's any guarantee he barrels off the spade draw combos, you know, which is a pretty important thing Whew. The river tank call versus Fedor the knit roll. Hmm. <clears throat> Does he think I have a sex that goes big flop? I mean, I don't think I'm gonna have ace eight. I don't know. I think I'm gonna have ace five. We'll have ace jack. We'll have jack x. I do think we just get to keep double barreling though. Is do we want to just take the no equity stuff? Like, what are we making fold on turn? We do make some five x fold. I don't know if he's gonna fold his eights though. Yeah, I think we just apply pressure on 5x and 8x. I think that's the important thing. But I guess we went big on flop, so I don't know how much of that he really has. It's a pretty cool river. That's a 
huge fucking fold, baby. That's a huge fold. That's a momentum fold if I've ever seen it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. You love to see it. You love to see a good momentum. Oh, look at that. The translation for Segura is hold it. Oh, interesting. So it means hold. Gotta give him a little carrot every so often, you know? Dry-ish King High board. Mm, maybe we could double barrel the Ace Queen here. Get value from club draws. Fly pressure on 5x. Get called by worse Ace Highs as well. Uh, blocks small. I don't have an 8. No, I don't think we check this one back and then fold. Nice end. Nice end. Nice end. I do think we're at the stack depth for applying pressure with a straight draw is cool. I think if we were shallower, we don't probably do it. But I think for now, we should. Because we're going to check raise Queen X, we're going to check raise some of our 5X. Um, and our two pairs. Interesting turn. Any Deuce of Diamonds on the rivers? Anyone, anyone feeling the old Deuce of Diamonds? I think because he still has 5X, like I don't think we get to go big with our Queens. Interesting river. Uh, how much 3x do we really have here? Not a lot. Kind of sounds like the worst. And to buff, I need to limp pot. And he has a lot of fives and a lot of threes. I think I'm just going to give this one up. We're not going to win a showdown, but I don't think it really matters because I think it's pretty hard to have worse. And I think it's pretty ambitious to try to make him fold. I'm going to say have worse, but like have like absolute airball floats. You'd have to have like ace, ace six of clubs that limped, which is fine. I still have Queen X. I, I mean, I'm gonna check raise. I don't think I'll have three X. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pretend I've got a three there. Unfortunate hand. Could have check call lead turn as well. Ooh, I like this turn. Actually, I, I, I mean, I prefer if it wasn't the four of spades, but you know, three of spades is cool. Cool card to have. Well. Oh. Hmm, he's 5x, sure. I mean, it does seem hard to get worse to call. You have to get a 4 to call. How much queen x he really has, though? Maybe we can just value about all of our queens when we have the 3 of spades. This is, like, moderately thin, but... I think we still get value from, like, deuces and fours. Obviously, we get in trouble by 5x, but I, I don't really expect to see a queen too often. So I don't think it's super relevant. Call with your 4. Call with your 4. Oh, uh, with your four. Would he take this long with a five? He's been pretty reasonable with his timing. Maybe. Ace four. Not ace four. King four. King deuce. Let's go, baby. The correct thin value. We're grooving, dude. Oh, is this a jam? Maybe for 20 it's a jam. Ooh, interesting turn. That's a spicy turn. Okay, I think we're just going to jam there. I, I don't really have much time to fully think about it. thought about blocking. Interesting turn. Honestly, I wasn't even greedy. I was thinking six of spades. Interesting turn, though. All the draws in the world. That's a quarter flop. That's bigger turn. I mean, I don't think we're going anywhere. What king X does he have? Uh, he's gonna have King X and have Queen X. Good and hero, I guess. I block a lot. Um, I'm leaning towards call here. Nice, well done. Nice hand. Yeah, not much time to think about it. Yeah, I think heroing. So basically, now that I can think it out loud, he yeah, so is simple pre-flop. We limp call. Uh, flop, pretty easy call. Turn it gets interesting 
I guess it depends if, like, I don't think he's going to check, like, Ace Jack of Spades. I don't think he's going to check, like, Ace Jack of Hearts. I think those are just going to double barrel. But, guys, I'm going to dip. It's been fun. Uh, long day. Happy ending. Second place. Pretty solid. Fucking hell, mate. All right. I'm going to dip. Take care, guys. Peace.